What we're taught when we are born is that, that we are whoever we are. And we learn a lot of descriptions that apply to ourselves. And the more descriptions the learn, we learn, the more closed we feel. The more we feel that we are a closed system. We are an individual operating in and of itself. And, and everything that goes on within us is somehow an identification of who we are. So uh, we have greatly simplified that in balanced view by just saying it, it is the, the view and points of view, that that's all that's appearing, the view and points of view. And that at the coincidence of the view and points of view is a new kind of knowledge at the coincidence of the view and points of view. In the inseparability of the view and points of view is a super knowledge base, a, a, a basis of, of knowledge that is unlike any other basis of knowledge we have ever known as human beings to date. And so this knowledge is the knowledge we need to solve many of the world's problems. And in order to solve the problems of the world, we're going to have to look at ourselves in a new way. Uh, we, we definitely are not a closed system, so, so we can definitely see that. We, we've opened up through the internet. The internet is a hugely open system. We can see that our own intelligence pours into the, to the internet and that it blends with other uh, people's intelligence into an open expanse of uniform intelligence, a networked intelligence. So if we look at that even a little bit, bit further, we could even say, well, you know, rather than being this closed system that we've learned that we are, really what we are, when you really look at it, is we're an open intelligence. We are really an open intelligence, an open expanse of intelligence. In fact, we're an inexhaustibly open expanse of intelligence. We're not a closed system that is shut down within the individual. And our power base of super knowledge is at the coincidence of the open system and the closed system. That's where the super knowledge is. That's where new knowledge is that, that cannot be attained in any other way than in instinctively recognizing open intelligence. Open intelligence is another name for clarity. Now, when a human being is considered to be an intelligent entity, an open intelligent entity, rather than a closed system all locked up in a world of descriptions about the past, present, and future, then we can relax a little. It, it isn't just that we're an open system. Everyone is an open system. Here we are all seamlessly blended together. We have seamless connectivity within open intelligence. And this seamless connectivity allows us to be interactive and interoperable. And because we're just at the beginning of knowing about this, we, we can't know where it will take us, but we do know that it's beneficial. And how do we know that it's beneficial? We know that it's beneficial because by practicing short moments of clarity, or open intelligence as we're calling it today, by practicing short moments many times, it becomes automatic. So we, instead of, of looking at all the points of view all the time, it's open intelligence that is predominant. It's open intelligence, clarity intelligence, that is predominant in the point of view. And, um, point of view, just like clarity has many different names. It could be, can be called the basic state, it can be called the view, it can be called open intelligence. Point of view has many different names too. It can be called phenomena, it, it can be called data. Data 
data, a datum is a basic unit of information, even before it has taken the form of, of a symbol, when it's just in the process of becoming a symbol. So you could say that basically what we are is open intelligence inseparable from data. And uh, it is the, at the coincidence of open intelligence and this data information where our super knowledge is as human beings. We're just learning about this. Now, we have to prove it to ourselves in our own experience. It is not something we can just adopt intellectually. We must refine it in terms of our own experience. We must rely on clarity, rely on open intelligence to allow all our points of view to be as they are, to allow all the data to be as it is, to just allow all of it to be as it is. And by allowing it to be as it is, rather than getting in there and mucking around with it, uh, you see open intelligence, the clarity view becomes very, very profound and powerful. And it takes over all the mechanisms of your body, your mind, your speech, your actual bodily actions of qualities and activities. So you see this is exactly what happens when you when you are paying attention to po points of view, when we're mucking around in all the points of view, then we, we, don't, we don't really feel at ease in the world. We feel worried and anxious. And we feel worried and anxious because it is unnatural to be focused all the time on points of view. That's why we feel worried and anxious and confused, because we have been mistaken in terms of looking at ourselves and actually describing who we are. When, when we really look at, at ourselves upon close examination, on airing examination, we find a vast, pure, open, natural intelligence. And whatever appears within it is it. So it shines forth, whether it's called points of view or data or whatever it is, it shines forth within it. All data whatsoever have an absolute truth value of open intelligence. That's the absolute truth value that they have. Even if it's junk data or no noisy data or other what are called negative or bad kinds of data, it still has an absolute truth value of open intelligence. And this is really, really significant and important to understand. So whether you call it the view and points of view or you call it open intelligence or data, it's at the coincidence of these two that super knowledge takes place. And the super knowledge comes about by relying on clarity relying on the clarity view. Or you can just refer to it as open intelligence or OI if you want to, depending on your disposition. It, it has to do with your disposition. Some people like it one way, some people like it another. Have you ever noticed that? And so in balanced view, we try to make it available in many different forms so that people can relate to it and understand. Now, um, when, when we come to an exacting insight into the nature of all things, then we can be said to know. It can be said that we, we know. When we have exacting insight into the nature of all things, then we really know. But before that, we have misinformation or pseudo-information. We don't really know about things until we have exacting insight into their nature. And so the basis of that exacting insight is in your own clarity. By the power of relying on your own clarity, you have exacting insight that clarity is within all points of view. That's what you have exacting insight into.
that clarity is in all points of view. Open intelligence is in all data.